Jussie could be forced into administration over Roman Abramovich's refusal to sell to certain buyers. Chelsea could yet be plunged into financial issues by Roman Abramovich, with a Russian ready to be fussy about who buys the club. Abramovich has been officially looking to sell the club, who he bought in 2003, but the past few weeks, following Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the billionaire has been officially looking to sell the club, who he bought in 2003, for the past few weeks following Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The billionaire has since put been under the sanction from the UK government, meaning that fans can't even buy tickets to games of merchandise, but the club is still for sale. Abramovich hired a rain group to sell, help sell the club and despite the sanctions, he's said to have a say in who can buy the club and that's where the issues could be. According to the Daily Mail, the 55-year-old could veto any bets that come from countries that have sanctioned Russia in the past few weeks. If he did that, it would mean that he refused to sell any British over American bets or even from the EU, leaving minimal potential buyers left. If Abramovich can't find a settler soon, then there is a chance of the club going into administration with them not currently being able to make money and the owner's accounts having been frozen, Will's players still need to be paid. The problems are added to by the fact that the UK government and particularly Councillor Rishi Sunak are overseeing the sale of the clues. That will be to make sure that Abramovich isn't actually benefiting from the sale, but it could also mean that certain other buyers are ruled out. Sunna could be reticent to sell any bidders from Saudi Arabia, especially with the Premier League considering making human rights a part of their fit and proper persons task for new owners. They would have to be careful denying any Saudi bid, considering that Newcastle United were only recently bought by the country's public investment fund and Prime Minister Boris Johnson was asked to intervene to help with that sale, though his bodies are known. Considering the PM also visited the country earlier in the week as part of a mission for the UK rely less on oil and gas from Russia, it could be tough for the government to get involved. It was reported several weeks ago that Abramovich could also refuse to sell to potential buyers from politically controversial countries as he wants to leave the Blues in good hands following his successful 19 years at the helm. John Terry has joined one of the consortiums attempting to take over at Sanford Bridge, and he seems like one British person Abramovich would refuse to sell to. The club's future very much remains shrouded in mystery right now, and it remains anyone's guess who will be the next owners.